978 Dance. We are here live at Tomorrowland in Belgium and in the studio with us right now we have Jaws. How you doing man? I'm great. I made it here. You made it here. Yeah, yeah. you had a few yeah. little situations. That's all you can ask for. Yeah, you know? yeah exactly. Um, I, I was saying this to someone earlier today, but it's Tomorrowland is such a dramatic festival yeah you know i mean you go out and you look around at the we stages wanted. and stuff yeah um and every year that i play here it's always a little extra dramatic yeah to make it here yeah <laughs> like the first year that i came to tomorrowland i was in poland and it was me and headhunters in one car we played the same festival both coming to tomorrowland and there's only one road from the festival that we played to this little airport <laughs> and there was a 15 car pile up like literally cars turned over on fire people out in the streets we had to get wow. a police escort like drive all the way it was so crazy yeah. um, so everything after that seems a little less crazy oh, so once you get here then it's like it's we like fine it. just yeah. yeah let me let me relax for a little bit yeah 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 we try and go out around 12 o'clock before the doors open or just uh -huh. at 12 and then wander around and then people come in we go let's get back inside <laughs> yeah <laughs> i love it I, this is one of the few festivals in the world that i will go walk around yeah outside like normally i'll have like yeah. a couple hours i mean today it's literally when i'm done here i go straight to perucaville in, oh yes in germany um but yeah it's like this is one of the few festivals where like you know i'll just throw on some sunglasses or whatever even honestly like there's so many people here it's like you can kind of walk you around can blend and, yeah and i man we like went to like the rave cave have you yes. been there where yeah they, no we all, haven't we all, need to it's all vinyl and they always play like so much crazy stuff and like we went and saw every single stage you're we having a blast and it just took one australian dude yeah turning around and being like are you and then it was over <laughs> yeah man i tell you what the good thing for us is that we are the bass music guys from dubai amazing so we have ha an affinity with your music we play a lot of I, it i didn't know that bass music in dubai was a thing but i'm we're very doing happy. It. We're, I'm very happy we're, to hear. we're working on it yeah yeah we're well, uk garage boys from from beautiful. the old days so yeah. we come in with bass we had holy goof in earlier as well yeah yeah who you have a special relationship with sure musically do. yeah um and uh, and we know elliot as well example he's a, he's a friend of the family so that guy yeah Ooh. Yeah, he said. Yeah, you'd think he'd calm down with a little child, but no. With, with two kids and a beautiful yeah. wife. Yeah, exactly. He's still the same old Elliot. Um, for me, a, a lot of your music, it feels like there's an affinity or at least a, a crate digging knowledge of, you, of the UK scene, which we come from. Yeah. When did that happen? Um, I mean, I think it's like even before I was into electronic music, like I, I was, uh, I wanted to be a guitar player in a metal yeah. band. Um, and so everywhere from like my rock and roll to metal to dance influences have always been from the UK more than the States. Really? Um, so like when I got into dance music, I was like listening to Scream, Banga, yes. uh, Koki, Caspa, like the real like yeah, OG nice. dubstep dudes. Um, and then when I got into more house music stuff, it was like the Lorenzo Taiki New Light world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, um, and then, you know, hanging out with all those guys and them like showing me you know like real garage and you know uh getting to play in sheffield yes and uh, <laughs> jamie it. jamie duggan teaching me about you know baseline before even you know goof or any of those guys were really doing anything yeah. um you know from literally you know every year my uh affinity or my knowledge or passion for uk dance music grows and, and it, you can see it we were talking earlier about like the the music that you've created and are creating and it's great for us because you pretty much cover the spectrum of the whole like scene that we love i i, I try yeah no try. but it's nice though that but because for me you've you've managed to get tracks that the big electro djs can play you've got tracks the dubstep boys can play you've got the baseline tracks and then the new track you've got out has got that kind of tech housey vibe to it yeah um I mean, the, the goal with the Jaws project was always to be able to make literally whatever I felt like in the moment. Yeah. Because um, I just like, I know how I listen to music. Yeah. And, you know, one day I'll be listening to crazy metal on, the, on a plane. And then, you know, like today I was listening to like crazy ambient electronic music. Yeah. You know, like, uh, oh man, what's his name? Uh, uh, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but the i i know as a fan i love all different kinds of stuff and i yeah. know that there are other people out there that listen to all different kinds of stuff and the whole that's my one gripe with mm. the uk because it, it i felt the same way about the states for a while and we we've gotten a lot better about it but the uk is still very clicky with dance music 
yeah you know? yeah i mean we 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 the thing for we're in dubai at the moment and we kind of break back in in little pockets we had right. a track where we just released something that charles played on on bbc one extra uh. but we know that it's a bit you know it's a tough scene right but it really impresses me how and we said again and it's worked both ways you've allowed holy goof to crack a, an american scene which we feel is you know distant and you've right. done the same with the uk scene and i think it's going to just grow and and you've I, done it with the comps as well i hope so because i mean my my goal has always been like i don't want to have my american fans upset at me for saying this but i'm sure they won't be this is going when, out in dubai Fair enough. Uh, but it almost means more to me when I do these big ticket shows in the UK than when I do them in, in the States. Yeah. Because in the States, it's like, we're already there. Yeah. People already know us. Like, you don't have to work as hard. And like, for me being a kid growing up listening to UK music for so long and it being such a clicky scene and knowing that it's so hard to get accepted, especially doing what I do, which yeah. is very American while also still kind of UK. But also, I, I'm doing, you know, everything from dubstep to drum and bass mm. to tech house yeah you know and those are so all of those worlds in the uk are completely They're separated, separated. Mm. yeah yeah big time. but if i can come in and start to blend those worlds and i mean when i did print works in, in uh and which is a sick venue it was like one of the coolest shows yeah it's ever. insane the lasers above your yeah. heads it's just like what yeah, it was incredible but i i played you know i played jaws you know bass house whatever you want to call it i played a bunch of american dubstep which in the UK normally goes over like a wet noodle. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they loved it. Yeah. And I, I played like a little bit of everything and I really didn't try to cater to a UK audience at all. And yeah. I just really did me. And it was the first show where I was like, oh wow, this is like really starting to work. I think the stage you're on as well has a lot of those different genres mixed out throughout the day. We're, we're going to drop the mics as soon as we can and come out and kind of rave at the front. Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're looking forward to it. I'm going anyway. to be looking for you guys out there. Oh, dear. That's awkward now. We know, yeah. <laughs> like, we'd be like Shaq. We'll make some banners. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Man, I hope Shaq's at my stage. Yeah, it was immense yesterday. All right, Jaws, it's been an absolute pleasure, man. We are going to play more of your music on the show, hear more from you, and we can't wait to catch up again soon. Beautiful. Thanks, man. Thanks.